What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about electrical system planning. Okay, so after we learn how to specify the electrical settings, so this time we are going to define the required lighting. So in this exercise, we are going to specify the lighting levels that are required for the different spaces within the building such as uh, offices, restrooms, and conference rooms, and others. So we are going to add a new project parameter. So project parameter are this. For example, you see from the properties, you have the category, graphics category, for example, and then these are the project parameters. So I'm going to teach you how to add project parameters in our space. So if I click the space here, like for example, this one, so I can see several project parameters here. Like under the electrical lighting category, I have these project parameters. So we are going to add a new project parameter on our space uh, spaces. Okay, so we are going to add a new project parameter. So we are going to call that required lighting level. Okay, required lighting level parameter for our spaces and then after that i'm going to show you how to create a key schedule that links your new parameter the required lighting level parameter to the various types of spaces in our project so basically key schedules provides an efficient way to create an instance parameter that can be used to map specific parameter values to particular key styles Okay, so in this case, the key style is the type of the space. And because the key is linked to your new project parameter, its value becomes the required lighting level. Okay, so let me teach you how to add our project parameter first. So to do that, so you just need to go to the manage tab. And then after that, you look for the settings. And then you look for project parameters okay so you just click that one and then it will now open the project parameters so these are the default project parameters created in this uh, project file that i have so again you can do this to your actual project but if you want to support me in doing videos you can also avail the exact exercise file that i'm using Okay, if you want to avail that one, you can check the video description. I have included the link there. Okay. All right. So we are going to create a new project parameter. So let's click this one, new. And then let's key in here the type. So this is required lighting level. Okay, so required lighting level. And then for the discipline, let's specify uh, electrical. So the, the type of parameter here is instance parameter. And then for the data type, so we are going to change that to illuminance. Okay, so data type illuminance. And then we are going to group that under electrical uh, lighting. Okay, that one. And then... For the category, we want to apply that to our spaces. Okay, space, spaces. All right, so we have the name, the discipline, the data type, group parameter under. Okay, so let's select here. Okay, and there's our there's now our project parameter for the spaces, and then select okay. So if I'm going to click one of the space here so like for example this is space let's click that one and then if you look at the properties let's look for the electrical lighting grouping and then you can now see there our required lighting level so as you can see by default it's empty but that's okay so i'm just trying to show you that our required lighting level is now created and added to our spaces properties okay all right, so the next thing that we're going to do, let's create a schedule for required lighting level. Okay, so let's do this. So from the project browser, 
let's right click our schedule here and then let's select here a uh, new schedule quantities and we want to create a schedule for uh, spaces and then let's specify the name here so I'm gonna call this space lighting requirements and then I'm gonna select here uh, schedule keys and then for the key name I'm gonna change that to lighting levels okay so lighting levels and then after that I'll select here okay and now on our schedule properties on our available field so I'm going to add required lighting level just double click that it will be added here on the right side so scheduled fields so we have key name and then we have required lighting level so if i select here okay so this is now how it looks like so let us just adjust this one and there you go okay so what we are going to do next is we're going to add space lighting requirements to our uh, schedule table okay so to do that so from the rows so we are going to insert data row okay so i'm going to add uh, i have 14 uh, names here so i'm going to add 14 here so 14 just keep on clicking there you go and then after that you can now specify the name here so like for example i want assembly and uh, building services what else uh, cafeteria cafeteria or lounge oops uh, circulation area and computer area conference area uh, instruction room instruction for high task Oop. high task uh, what else another instruction room standard and library room lobby area uh, open office area uh, private office Oop. private office restroom and support room okay and then after that we also need to specify the required lighting level so we just need to type that one so like for example for the fc i want that to be 50 foot candle and 30 fc foot candle 20 foot candle circulation 20 computer is 35 conference is 35 as well 75 uh, 50 for the standard library is 50 20 for the lobby open office uh, let's say 45 so 50 restroom is only 20 75 for the support okay so that's the default Oh, by the way, that's the default unit for your uh, illuminance, so foot candle. Okay, so if you're wondering how to modify the units, so you just need to go to the units dialog box. So just go to the manage and then look for units. Okay, and then let's go to discipline. Let's go to electrical. And then let's look for illuminance. As you can see, the default unit or format for illuminance there is FC or foot candle. You can always change that to lux level or lux. But 
I prefer foot candle. So just select OK, OK. All right. And then there you go. Okay. And then you can still modify this schedule if you want. So let's say you want that to be sort based on the required lighting level. So if you want to do that, so just go to the properties and then le look for the sorting grouping. So just click edit. And then sort it by required lighting level. And then I want to put a blank line there. And then I'll just select here, OK. And this is now how it looks like. There you go. OK, so it's now sort by required uh, lighting level. OK, so I'm going to change this one back, sort. So I want to sort it by uh, key name so that it's alphabetically arranged like that one. Okay. Now, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply the lighting level to spaces. Okay. So let us go back to our level 2 lighting plan. And we are now ready to apply it. So what's this one? So this space is for uh, instruction. So if I click this one, okay, so I'm going to specify the lighting level for this. So from the identity data, lighting level that's actually connected to, the, uh, to our required lighting level. Okay, so lighting level, so let's click the drop down arrow there and then you will be able to see here the spaces that we have key in on our schedule, right? So like for example, for this one, this is an instruction room, so I'll just select instruction standard. So I select that one and then apply. So if I check out the required lighting level for this one, so it will be... 50 FC already by default. Okay? And then you will also notice that the required lighting level now has a value of uh, 50 foot candle and the field is dimmed. Since the lighting level is set to use the value assigned to the instruction standard key value. So basically, the only way to change the value is to either select a different lighting level key select none for lighting level and type a specific value or you can edit the required lighting level key schedule okay so you can change this one if you want so you need to edit the lighting schedule so basically that's it for creating our schedule so you just need to apply that to all the spaces okay so we are not going to do that so i'm just showing you how to do it so that you can do it on your own. So like, for example, this one. So what's this space? So this is a lounge. So I'm going to select the lounge. And then after that, I'll go to the lighting level. Okay, where is it? This one. Oh, where's my electrical? <clears throat> All right. So identity data. So that's a lounge. So that is a cafeteria lounge lighting level. Then apply. And then you see now the required lighting level is 20 FC. And for example, this is a toilet. So I select that one and then look for the identity data. So that's a toilet or restroom. So let's select restroom there. Apply. And same with this one. So select the space. And then change the lighting level to uh, restroom. Okay. Right. So that's it. So if I check here my schedule, I also have a uh, space lighting schedule here. And I also have space schedule. You can double click that one. And then you, you can see here all your space uh, schedule. Okay, so the one that we have created is lighting level schedule. Oh, not that one. Uh, electrical circuit. Is it this one here? This one. Uh, space lighting requirements. Okay. Right. So hopefully you learned something from this video. 
if you have any comments, questions, or suggestion, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.